Hi, and welcome to Ottawa English. I'm Angela. Today, we're going to practice writing an apology email for the CELPIC test, but we're going to do it from a dictation. In other words, I'm going to tell you what to write, and I want you to write down what I say. My apology email is in response to this CELPIC writing task. And it asks me to write an email apologising for losing my library book. So essentially, I want you to do four things. I'm going to read my sample response. And at first, I just want you to listen to it from start to finish. Then I'm going to read it again in little chunks. And after a few words, I'll stop and you write down what you've heard. When we get to the end, I'll read my response again so that you can check that you've written everything down. And then you'll stop the video to check all of your punctuation and capital letters and spellings. And then we'll look at the response together so that you can make sure you've got everything right. OK, so here we go. Just listen to my response. Dear Librarian, I'm writing to apologise for losing the library's copy of Managing for Excellence by Robert Heller, which I borrowed on the 10th of March from your branch at 50th Avenue in Ottawa. The book may have been lost during my morning commute yesterday. As it was pouring with rain, my fellow commuters were all very eager to get out of the rain and onto the train. With all the pushing and shoving, my open bag, containing all my books, notes and laptop, fell to the ground. Although I thought I'd managed to gather everything and stuff it back into my bag, I must have missed your book during all the commotion. Checking with the transit department hasn't helped much since no one has handed my book into the lost and found. The staff has clearly hunted high and low, but unfortunately the book has simply vanished. I want to express my heartfelt apologies for losing one of your books and will gladly pay for it. Please just let me know the price of the book so that I can settle my account rather than racking up late fees. Regards. Joe Smith. OK, so that's my response. Now, I'm going to read it again, just a few words at a time, and I want you to write down what you hear. Dear Librarian, I am writing to apologise for losing the library's copy of Managing for Excellence by Robert Heller, which I borrowed on the 10th of March from your branch at 50th Avenue in Ottawa. The book may have been lost during my morning commute yesterday. As it was pouring with rain, my fellow commuters were all very eager to get out of the rain and onto the train. With all the pushing and shoving, my open bag, containing all my books, notes, and laptop, fell to the ground. Although I thought I had managed to gather everything and stuff it 
back into my bag, I must have missed your book during all the commotion. Checking with the transit department hasn't helped much since no one has handed the book into the lost and found. The staff has clearly hunted high and low, but unfortunately the book has simply vanished. I want to express my heartfelt apologies for losing one of your books and will gladly pay for it. Please just let me know the price of the book so that I can settle my account rather than rack up late fees. Regards, Joe Smith. So now I'm going to read it again so that you can check what you've written. Dear Librarian, I'm writing to apologise for losing the library's copy of Managing for Excellence by Robert Heller, which I borrowed on the 10th of March from your branch at 50th Avenue in Ottawa. The book may have been lost during my morning commute yesterday. As it was pouring with rain, my fellow commuters were all very eager to get out of the rain and onto the train. With all the pushing and shoving, my open bag containing all my books, notes and laptop fell to the ground. Although I thought I had managed to gather everything and stuff it back into my bag, I must have missed your book during all the commotion. Checking with the transit department hasn't helped much since no one has handed the book into the lost and found. The staff has clearly hunted high and low, but unfortunately, the book has simply vanished. I want to express my heartfelt apologies for losing one of your books and will gladly pay for it. Please just let me know the price of the book so that I can settle my account rather than rack up late fees. Regards, Joe Smith. So now I'd like you to check your writing, punctuation, spelling and spacing as I read the email again. Dear Librarian, have you got the comma? I am writing to apologise for losing the library's copy of Managing for Excellence by Robert Heller, which I borrowed on the 10th of March from your branch at 50th Avenue in Ottawa. Do you have that possessive S on library's copy? Is March spelt with a capital M? Do you have a capital letter for Avenue and Ottawa? Now you need a line space before you start your paragraph. The book may have been lost during my morning commute yesterday. As it was pouring with rain, comma, my fellow commuters 
were all very eager to get out of the rain and onto the train. Period. With all the pushing and shoving, comma, my open bag, comma, containing all my books, comma, notes, comma, and laptop, comma, fell to the ground, period. Although I thought I had managed to gather everything and stuff it back into my bag, comma, I must have missed your book during all the commotion, period. And now you need a line space. Checking with the transit department hasn't helped much since no one has handed the book into the lost and found, period. The staff has clearly hunted high and low, but, comma, unfortunately, comma, the book has simply vanished, period. And now you need a line space. I want to express my heartfelt apologies for losing one of your books and will gladly pay for it, period. Please just let me know the price of the book so that I can settle my account rather than rack up late fees, period. Regards, comma, Joe Smith. How did you do? Did you remember all those commas and periods? Did you remember the spaces between each section and the comma after regards? I'm sure you did. And what about those capital letters? Did your upper and lowercase letters match exactly? Okay, so let's take a look at some of the structures in this essay that give me a high score. So we've got some gerunds, we've got several participles, we've got a nice distribution of subordinating conjunctions and a relative clause. We've got a possessive, we've got three parallels, and then we've got a correlative conjunction. For tenses, I've used the continuous present, the simple present, the simple past, the continuous past, the present perfect, the past perfect, and the future. If you've made more than four mistakes, go back and try again. The more you practice, the better you'll get. Go ahead and write your own apology email and you can just paste it into the comment section below if you'd like a score or use my paid writing correction service if you'd like a little more feedback and some practice material to improve your writing. Thanks for watching. Bye bye now.